We are back now with mm -hmm. our big board, and Larry Hackett is here at the table with us. Welcome, Larry. Love having you, you here. We yep. always talk about Hollywood, and you have those Hollywood good looks. But <laughs> you, we're going to talk about something that has Hollywood and a lot of people in an uproar. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of outrage that's growing over the movie A Dog's mm -hmm. Purpose. The film premiere was canceled after TMZ released this video, appearing to show its K-9 star in distress while filming a stunt for the movie. Now, warning, you know, these are disturbing images. Mm -hmm. Take a look. Mm -hmm. Mm, we saw them. Well, we just yeah. saw them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we yeah, that, yeah, that's that. We were talking before we came here, and you you asked us, would it be hard for us to watch this film? And when you see those images, it's it's really hard. And now PETA is calling for a boycott, not only of this film, but in any film featuring real animals. Right. Uh, people, uh, Peter, that people for ethical treatment of animals have said no movies, no animals in any movies going forward. Uh, the producers of this movie are turning in their beds this morning hearing what you mm. just said. This is the last thing they need. Their premiere was canceled this weekend. Their press junket where they get all kinds of free publicity was canceled this weekend. Uh, this is not good for this film at all. It's not, and not good for the industry. And, and you know, there's so many people that are involved in the film. And when you when you call for a boycott, you know you're affecting a lot, a lot of people's lives. But it's hard. I'm a dog lover. Right. And, and, and to see that, it would be hard to sit there and not think about what could have gone um, gone through that dog that was there. So what does this say about the industry? What, what do you think this will have any impact going forward on the industry, not just this movie? I think it's debatable about this movie. I think for the for the industry, I mean, in a world now where you have computer-generated graphics, where in a movie like The Life of Pi, the tiger mm -hmm. that was on the raft, was almost entirely generated by a computer. When you have a film like The Revenant, where the, there was no real bear in that movie, the question has to be asked, you know, do you need dogs or any other kind of animal in peril in scenes like this when you can probably generate it via a computer? You certainly want the dog in the field hugging the boy with the sure, sunshine. Sure, you're good. always yeah. going to want that. But whenever you're going to have an animal that's in peril, yeah. you're not going to want that. Number two, in a world now with cell phones and all that we know on online, mm -hmm. somebody on some set is going to make videos of this all the time. I have a feeling this is not the last time you're going to see this kind of thing. Well, I, I think that this will change and <laughs> yes, probably right. go to that computer generated. But this is produced by Amblin Entertainment, which is Steven Spielberg's company. Yes, it is. So you think he could possibly face some blowback on this? I think it's a bit of a bank shot that he would actually feel any kind of impact. On the other hand, this is a man who has spent his life making family movies, feel-good movies. Mm -hmm. He does not want anything to be a drag on that. And if there's something that can be prevented, and this can be eminently prevented mm -hmm. with computer graphics, why not do it? Get out of the way and let the movies be what they're supposed to be, which is good family fare. Yes, yeah, let's learn from this. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, Larry, thank you very much.